Let me just wrap up by making a few comments about the US, next US administration. Like I said before, I think they're likely to, whoever's elected, unless it's Bernie uh, Sanders or Rand Paul, which seems unlikely, to pursue more assertive policies towards Syria and Iran, especially if the US homeland is targeted by ISIS. There'll be broad support for that. I will say, though, however, such efforts are likely to cross Iranian red lines with regard to US um, efforts to undermine either the Assad regime or the US, or US decision to send combat troops back to Iraq. And I don't rule out the possibility that Americans will then again be targeted by Iraqi special groups. And that late raises the possibility of growing tensions in the US-Iran um, relationship. And also questions with regard to implementation of the nuclear agreement, if, if there is a resumption of this proxy war against the United States. Also, the next American president will want to be seen as the un-Obama. We've seen this in every administration. They want to dis differentiate themselves from the previous administration. So again, I think that's another reason why I think the next administration will likely uh, pursue a more proactive uh, policy with regard to Syria and Iran. And then finally, the US return to the region creates the potential for friction and miscalculation. There's this empty house that the US used to inhabit that has now been filled by the Iranians and the Russians. And when we try to move back in, the current residents are, are not necessarily going to um, welcome that. And as a result, I, I see the, the potential for a miscalculation there. 